So if you want to take the shortcut, it gives you the choice between either burning uh, transparency jutsu or using bol uh, boulder crushing. Uh, well, one of those does give me access to a free uh, treasure room, so I might as well go ahead and do that one. Unless it's baiting me into it. I don't know why it'd be smarter to do that, but okay. <laughs> sure, why the hell not? Yeah, battle room. Hell, hell yeah. Now we're talking. Finally, I'm able to actually try out Ten Ten against Gara. Oh boy. Well, no, I could probably do this. Uh, Gara only has one explicitly like full screen attack, so this might not be terrible. Attack aside, jump aside. Oh boy. Okay. Pop this. So imagine how many of those items you would get if you had tools like plus one or plus two on uh, Ten Ten. That would be pretty cool, actually. Okay. The thing I'm not liking is that the tools you get is random, so, eh. That's just unreliable, honestly. Okay, let's see what this does. Oh my god, okay. Weapons popping out of the ground. Sure, why not? And we just like to remind everyone the fact that in the manga, the only fight she had in this in the series is not even in there. Fantastic. Oh my. <laughs> That was fun. Huh. Okay, she has my attention. I might keep on my team for a little bit. Might. I don't know. I, I could drop Neji at some point and, like, try other people out, but I like my core of... I don't think I haven't actually... I haven't tried Guy yet. Wow, I've not done that yet, have I? I've been getting so little, actually, fucking uh, battle scrolls that I just have been just... Blanking out on stuff. Huh. Yeah, I guess that would be a problem, wouldn't it? Okay. Just go ahead and pop on the shower production rooms. Why the hell not? Mm. See what we can do. Oh, starting at five. Yep. <laughs> Let's see. Left up, circle, left up. That's yeah, easy. <laughs> the fucking movement is just so good. Up, down, left, square, up. Yeah, sure. Up, down, left, square, up. Okay. And lastly, down, down, square. Down. Okay. I feel like I'm able to naturally remember these a lot better while I'm recording because I say them out loud and I'm under slightly more pressure to get them right in front of an audience. Just ever so slightly, you know. A trickle. Now I'm starting to wonder if there's been any parts so... So, I, I mentioned that none of these videos have actually been made public yet. Or as, a matter of, as a matter of fact, I haven't even started editing them yet. So I wonder how many of these I've actually just straight up gone through that have not... Or how many parts or videos have been up that haven't had any cutscene whatsoever of them. It's just been going through levels. I'm kind of curious about that actually because I wouldn't be surprised if there was one by now. Because these take a while to get through sometimes. Alright, let's see. Oop. Oh. I might have used Guy at least once in Heroes 1, but I definitely have not used him for recording purposes at all. As a matter of fact, last time I used Guy for the channel was probably back in Ultimate Ninja 2, uh, during the fucking bullshit Kabuto fight in that game, in the What If Store. Oh my, we're both going on stage. We're both going to nowhere. And now for overblown fucking Ultimates. I say, but it still probably isn't, uh, too out of what he could probably do. And it turns out it wasn't because holy shit, the stuff he does against Madara with eight gates, all of them, yeah, that's fun. <sighs> no, I not to think about it. I've never actually used eight gates guy in uh, Storm 4 at all. I'll probably rectify that sometime. Alright, so... Chris <laughs> I love how there's a fucking juju in this game called Crystal Ball Juju. I, I think I mentioned that already. I'm not certain, but it's still fun, I think. Hmm. Uh, 
Anything of note? Maybe? Nah, not really. But, the good thing is the Dusk Elixirs fully restore your health and chakra. At least for just one character, but that's still pretty good. That's like a fucking full restore from Pokemon right there. That's really good. Alright, one more battle room. Room. I like how people, like some people from the middle of the United States say room and not, not room. I don't know, dumb observation of the day, but I still find it kind of kind of silly. In some weird sort of way. Alright. Wait, is they attack defense high? Oh, speed. Okay. It's going to make it harder to defend against them, but not terrible. <laughs> I love the bullshit startup on fucking dynamic entry. You can just kind of like rip it when, whenever it's, it's like, yeah, I'll probably connect. Probably go through some stuff too. My god, I got so many cow drops from that one. I did not see him drop that. Okay. Pop one of this. Guy is too stupid to jump over the cow drops. Oh. Probably punish that. Well, at least interrupt him toward the next attack, so that's pretty good. Zip. Oh, Jesus, that hitbox was deceiving as all hell. Oh my, I, did, I actually didn't do a lot. Well, about as much as I was expecting anyway. <laughs> I love how Guy actually somehow got behind me, but I was still pressing forward circle, so it turned into a back circle move, so I just threw him automatically. That was kind of funny, actually, in a weird way. So, that was a thing that happened. Hmm. Well, I feel com I, I feel content with what I've shown up for 10 at this point. I might drop her the next chance I get, but, eh, she's still cool. Has more stuff than I expected, but that's for damn sure. Alright, what do we have? Another one? Oh, yes. That must be the seventh. <laughs> the seventh. Jesus Christ, we're I on the seventh one? My God. Nar just feeling it. Darn it. What's wrong, Naruto? Aren't you gonna peel this? Well, yeah, but you know, second guess is sure. kind of happening. Well, I know how you're feeling, but Naruto, as she said, if the people from the Hidden Leaf Village caused this, no, it's okay. <laughs> he's back already. God, Kagashi was barely gone for like 15 floors. It'll be okay. Don't worry, Naruto. Kakashi Sensei? It'll be okay? What exactly you what he means. Actually, I was curious about that Princess Kasumi. <laughs> so I did some research on Castle Dusk and Princess Kasumi. Yep. So, so you found out what really happened, Kakashi Sensei? Well, I could tell you, but it might be better if you see. Yeah, Jiraiya's kind of crawling around in the basement right now. It's actually kind of funny. So, is this where we kind of reveal everything? If we search the castle's memories, I'll bet the real story will become probably. Kakashi Sensei, what can this tell me? Just <laughs> yeah, Dry's kind of crawling in the basement right now, and uh, he has reason to. Everyone. What? Dead. I wonder. I, I can't tell if Kasumi is voiced by Stephanie Shea or. Uh, fuck, what's her name? Oh god, I can't remember. I can't remember the name, voice actor for Sakura off the top of my head. That's weird. So! You want revenge on the Hidden Leaf Village. Isn't that right? Who is this weird looking snake person just walked into my house? And oh my god, we've gone back to the fucking oh, Ultimate Ninja 1 artwork. Princess. Why have we regressed? My name is Orochimaru. I rule the Hidden Sound Village. The Hidden Sound? What is a person from that village? Do? Gee, an excellent question. Why would someone from the Hidden Sound Village be here when the Hidden Leaf Village just attacked? Hmm. <laughs> I came here to save you. <laughs> you who have lost. Everything. I wonder why Orochimaru was just in the neighborhood. <laughs> 
Actually, I have a grudge against the hidden leaf village too. So I thought we might work. Together. This is just against too perfect. The hidden leaf village? <laughs> Yeah, the, look at this. This is full on fucking Ultimate Ninja 1 artwork. God damn. Number 1, to forget about this tragedy and do nothing. Number <laughs> 2, take revenge on the hidden leaf village, which deprived <clears throat> you. Yeah, just to throw out a little bit at the end, just to remind you, you know. Revenge? But such a If you want to take revenge, I'll give you the power to do Assuming something. you're too pure for what the shit is going on right now. I'll even bring the people of the castle who died. <laughs> Depending on your performance. Well, yeah, he he, he could. You know, Tensei's a bitch. <laughs> My people. Yes. All you have to do is wear this mask. Was it, has it been any more plainly obvious to everyone else what was going on? Wearing it, you'll gain tremendous power. Certainly. This mask feeds on your hatred and gives you power. Until your hatred runs out, it will never come off. Well, never say never, but you know. <laughs> this is exquisitely perfect for you. I can't imagine anyone else you Uh give a few years more tomorrow, you'll be surprised. If I wear this, I can gain power. But if you make a contract What is it with the Rochamaru pl playing with kids like damn fiddles? Is this beautiful? What? Don't worry. I don't mean you will disappear. Well not your spirit will intertwine with this castle and remain here for Cause that sounds cheery. Intertwine? By the way, can I just mention the giant, the, the fucking moon in the background? How it less looks like a moon, more like the sun's like falling on the earth. <laughs> Jesus yes. Christ! In I think we're kind of overblowing that little detail bit. You obtain tremendous. Power. Actually, looks more like a scene on Vampire Hunter D, and that's a terrifying cut. Now, what do you say? Well, I think we know how that little bargain came out. So, I mean, I kind of pieced it together at this point already, but uh, yeah, Orochimaru kind of orchestrated a little attack against the castle to fuck with Kasumi and, and force her into the bargain. And yeah. Unbelievable. In my research, I found no evidence that the Hidden Leaf Village ever invaded Castle nope. Dusk. I verified it with the Fifth Hokage and Master Jiraiya. And, and remember, like, you would think that yeah, they would say that, but. At this position, I don't think Sunai would gain anything from saying yes or no. Means the real invader was no doubt about it. I mean, does kind of run a tar fucking village and try and get outfits for that village. It's not that difficult. Yep, he, he has a thing for playing 12 year olds like fiddles, apparently. Or hurry. however old Kasumi is. I have no idea how old she is. Now that we know Orochimaru's behind this. We can't afford to rest for a moment. Kakashi Sensei. What is it, Naruto? Every time I peel off a seal, I see that memory. It's so lovely, and they look so happy. Mm -hmm. There's something about it. When I saw it, I felt happy too. You know, people give Naruto shit for being a pretty one-dimensional character at times, but at least this is still breathing some life into him. Also want to punch a snake man in the face. That would be good too. To save the princess is Well, me. No way. But we may be able to release her soul from I think that's more what he was going for. Huh? What does that mean, Kakashi Sensei? Right now, the princess is filled with a hatred infused in her by He seems to have that effect. But if we could dissipate her hatred in some way, we might release her from Orochimaru's curse. It's a theory. I'm not saying it. I'm not saying it's a game theory. But what should we do? She holds a grudge against the Hidden Leaf Village, and she may not listen to us. 
<laughs> Alright, Myrtle's eyes have been picking up for uh, for the last couple of rounds that have been kind of like pieces from the past. Yeah, that might be uh, coming to effect later on. Yeah. Unless there's a, unless there is a uh, bone Kenkai Genkai user in front of him, in which case he will be slowed down for a few minutes. But a spirit like that, one day. <laughs> and Kakashi's back on the team. Hell yeah! All right, so that's gonna wrap it up for today's recording of uh, Heroes Two. God, it feels like not much has been accomplished, but on the other hand, I have now passed the two-hour mark for recording. So yeah, it's going. It's taken a while. I knew it would from the start, and then I still did it anyway because, you know what, no one's not a full let's play this game, so fuck it. Alright, hope you guys are enjoying this. I'll be back later on with more of this shit. Uh, and now that we have it lower level of relation about Rajimaru, now it begins the process of trying to get through Kasumi's little thick noggin and uh, seeing what we can do about that. So, yeah, till next time. Peace!